The camera industry might be on the verge of a major shakeup, and this time, it's coming from Sony itself. According to multiple leaks and insider reports, Sony's next-generation FX32, sometimes referred to internally as the FX32, could be the most disruptive cinema camera the company has ever produced. Early details suggest that this compact powerhouse might not just replace the FX3, it could potentially overshadow the FX6 and even challenge the FX9, raising serious questions about Sony's product strategy. The leaks imply that Sony is prepared to cannibalize its own lineup to push the boundaries of what a compact cinema camera can achieve. If these rumors hold true, the Sony FX3 II could completely redefine what filmmakers expect from a sub-$4,000 camera body. At first glance, the FX3 II might appear to follow the same design philosophy that made the original FX3 so beloved among run-and-gun filmmakers, YouTubers, and documentary shooters. However, beneath the surface, major upgrades seem to be brewing. Sources familiar with early development prototypes claim Sony is retaining the box-style form factor, a design that merges the portability of a mirrorless camera with the modular flexibility of a professional cinema rig. The new chassis is rumored to be sturdier, featuring improved heat dissipation and active cooling. Addressing one of the biggest concerns users had with the original FX3, overheating during long recording sessions. This enhancement alone signals Sony's intent to make the FX3 II suitable for extended professional workflows, whether on high-end productions or field-based documentary shoots. Thermal management improvements are not just a convenience, they're a necessity for what's rumored to be inside. Reports indicate the Sony FX3 II will debut with a 24-megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, leveraging dual-layer transistor technology, an approach that significantly boosts light-gathering efficiency and data readout speed. This isn't your typical stacked sensor upgrade. Instead, Sony appears to be implementing a dual-transistor-per-pixel architecture, a technology that allows faster data processing and more efficient low-light performance. The result is expected to be breathtaking, cleaner shadows, reduced rolling shutter, and vastly improved dynamic range. One of the most fascinating aspects of this new sensor is its triple base ISO system, with levels reportedly set at 800, 4000, and 25600. This design gives the FX3 II an unprecedented level of flexibility in changing light conditions. Filmmakers could seamlessly transition from bright daylight exteriors to dimly lit interiors without sacrificing image quality or dynamic range. This configuration could make the FX3 II a true night vision cinema camera, perfect for documentary filmmakers, wedding cinematographers, or anyone shooting in unpredictable environments. Insiders have even gone so far as to call it a night specialist claiming that its low-light performance may rival, or even surpass, Sony's renowned A7S III. Beyond its sensitivity and speed, the Sony FX3 II is expected to introduce a major leap in recording capabilities. According to leaked development documents, the camera will feature 6K open-gate recording at up to 120 frames per second, all without any sensor crop. Open gate recording means the full sensor area is utilized rather than just the typical 16, 9 portion. This gives filmmakers more creative freedom in post-production, especially when reframing for different aspect ratios like 2.39, 1 or vertical formats. Achieving this at 120 FPS would be remarkable, offering ultra-smooth slow-motion footage while maintaining full-frame cinematic depth and perspective. Moreover, the FX3 II will likely support 4K oversampled footage from the full 6K readout, ensuring cleaner, sharper imagery with less noise and aliasing. Combined with 10-bit 4, 2, 2 internal recording, S-Cinetone color science, and advanced picture profiles, this could easily make the FX3 II one of the most color-accurate and flexible tools for professional filmmakers. The possibility of 16-bit RAW output via HDMI or SDI if supported could also appeal to high-end production houses, allowing for deeper post-processing flexibility. In terms of design, Sony doesn't seem to be making radical aesthetic changes, and that's a good thing. 
The FX3 is compact, minimalist body has become a favorite among content creators and professional videographers alike for its adaptability. Expect the FX3 II to retain its top handle audio interface, multiple mounting points, and lightweight magnesium alloy body. However, it's rumored that Sony will introduce an upgraded high-resolution EVF attachment option and possibly a more detailed rear touchscreen interface with enhanced menu responsiveness. This could further align the FX3 II with Sony's professional cinema line while still appealing to hybrid shooters. Connectivity is another area where the FX3 II might leap ahead of its competition. The inclusion of Wi-Fi 6E and potentially even Bluetooth 5.4 would mark a significant shift toward a fully wireless workflow. Imagine being able to stream proxies, sync metadata, or control camera functions remotely with minimal lag. Such features could redefine how small production teams operate on location. Paired with Sony's Creators app and cloud production suite, this integration might signal Sony's ambition to bring high-end remote production capabilities to a compact cinema form factor. As for performance, expectations are sky-high. With the stacked sensor enabling global or near-global readout speeds, the FX3 II could effectively eliminate rolling shutter issues. This would make fast pans, whip movements, and handheld tracking shots much smoother and more organic. Combined with Sony's next-generation AI-powered autofocus, which is rumored to include subject recognition for humans, animals, vehicles, and even drones, the FX3 II could become a filmmaker's dream, a camera that anticipates and reacts instantly to the subject's movement in real time. On the stabilization front, Early leaks suggest up to eight stops of in-body image stabilization IBIS, a notable improvement over the FX3 system. When paired with lens-based optical stabilization and Sony's active mode, handheld shooting could reach near gimbal-like stability. This will be a major asset for solo operators, documentary creators, and indie filmmakers who value mobility and quick setup times over bulky rigs. The biggest question hanging over all of this is pricing. According to leaked documents, Sony may take a surprising route by positioning the FX3 II below the $4,000 mark. If that's accurate, it would make the camera one of the most aggressively priced professional cinema tools ever released, especially considering its rumored 6K, triple ISO, and stacked sensor architecture. This pricing strategy could completely upend the mid-tier cinema camera market. It would effectively undercut Sony's own FX6, FX9, and even compete directly with Canon's C70, Blackmagic's Cinema 6K Pro, and Panasonic's PS1H. Analysts speculate that Sony may be willing to take short-term profit losses on the FX3 II to establish dominance in the compact cinema sector. The strategy could be similar to how the company disrupted the hybrid market with the A7 series, where aggressive pricing and cutting-edge tech force competitors to catch up. If true, this move would put massive pressure on Canon, Panasonic, and Blackmagic, potentially accelerating innovation across the entire industry. However, there's also a chance that the FX3 II could face production delays. While registration documents hint at a September to November 2025 announcement, other insiders believe availability might slip into early 2026 due to sensor yield challenges and global supply chain constraints. Sony is reportedly working to ensure stable inventory before the official rollout, knowing that demand for such a feature-rich camera will likely outpace supply. If these leaks prove accurate, Sony might not just be refreshing a product line, they could be rewriting the rules of the cinema camera market entirely. The FX3 II may not simply replace the FX3. It could redefine what's possible in compact cinema, challenging industry hierarchies and setting a new creative standard. Whether Sony intends it or not, this camera could very well mark the beginning of a new era, one where professional-grade filmmaking tools are more accessible versatile and powerful than ever before.